This video will explain how the complexity of manufacturing biological products, or biologics, results in characteristics that are specific to each available botulinum toxin type A product. Conventional therapeutic molecules, such as acetaminophen, are made from standard chemicals and reagents and tend to have a low molecular weight. In contrast, biologics such as botulinum toxin type A are dramatically larger and more complex. Biologic production requires the culturing of cells or living organisms on a large scale in highly specialized equipment that contains growth or fermentation media and maintains optimal conditions. The desired product is precipitated and purified. The manufacturing process of a biologic can not only be a determinant of safety, it may define the product itself. All botulinum toxin type A products available in the United States are synthesized from different strains of Clostridium botulinum. However, each is different, owing in part to the manufacturing process. Botox Cosmetic contains a uniform complex of approximately 900 kilodaltons that consists of 150 kilodalton core neurotoxin protein, as well as complex accessory proteins. Disport contains several complex sizes that are less than or equal to 500 kilodaltons. Exact weights and composition have not been officially reported by the manufacturer. Xeomin also contains the core neurotoxin protein. The complexing proteins with which it is synthesized are dissociated during manufacturing. The products are also differentiated by different excipients and stabilization methods. Botox Cosmetic is dissolved in saline and vacuum dried. Dysport and Xeomin are lyophilized or freeze dried with sugars added as excipients. Dysport can also contain trace amounts of cow's milk proteins. Each botulinum toxin type A product is packaged in vials that denote the manufacturer determined units of toxin inside. However, it is important to understand that the potency units of all three products are specific to the preparation and assay method utilized and are not interchangeable. Many biologic products such as insulin are measured in standardized units of potency, called international units. This is not the case for botulinum toxin products. A unit of each botulinum toxin product is determined by an assay of the mouse LD50 or the median lethal dose. Measures of LD50 are variable and manufacturers use proprietary assays to measure the potency of their product. Because of this, units of Botox Cosmetic, Dysport, or Xeomin cannot be compared or converted into units of any other botulinum toxin products assessed with any other specific assay method. As you have seen, botulinum toxin type A products differ in several important ways. As biologics, they are made according to their specific manufacturing process, which results in different molecular compositions. Further differences arise in the way the toxins are stabilized and the excipients added to each solution. Finally, the potency units for each botulinum toxin type A are different and non-interchangeable. Botox Cosmetic on a Botulinum Toxin A. Important Information. Indications. Botox Cosmetic on a Botulinum Toxin A is indicated in adult patients for the temporary improvement in the appearance of moderate to severe glabellar lines associated with corrugator and or procerus muscle activity, moderate to severe lateral canthal lines associated with orbicularis oculi activity, moderate to severe forehead lines associated with frontalis activity. Important safety information, including boxed warning. Warning, distant spread of toxin effect. Post-marketing reports indicate that the effects of Botox Cosmetic and all botulinum toxin products may spread from the area of injection to produce symptoms consistent with botulinum toxin effects. These may include asthenia, generalized muscle weakness, diplopia, ptosis, dysphagia, dysphonia, dysarthria, urinary incontinence, and breathing difficulties. 
These symptoms have been reported hours to weeks after injection. Swallowing and breathing difficulties can be life-threatening, and there have been reports of death. The risk of symptoms is probably greatest in children treated for spasticity, but symptoms can also occur in adults treated for spasticity and other conditions, particularly in those patients who have an underlying condition that would predispose them to these symptoms. In unapproved uses, including spasticity in children, and in approved indications, cases of spread of effect have been reported at doses comparable to those used to treat cervical dystonia and spasticity and at lower doses. Contraindications Botox Cosmetic is contraindicated in the presence of infection at the proposed injection sites and in individuals with known hypersensitivity to any botulinum toxin preparation or to any of the components in the formulation. Warnings and precautions. Lack of interchangeability between botulinum toxin products. The potency units of Botox Cosmetic are specific to the preparation and assay method utilized. They are not interchangeable with other preparations of botulinum toxin products, and therefore, units of biological activity of Botox Cosmetic cannot be compared to nor converted into units of any other botulinum toxin products assessed with any other specific assay method. Spread of toxin effect. Please refer to boxed warning for distant spread of toxin effect. No definitive serious adverse event reports of distant spread of toxin effect associated with dermatologic use of Botox Cosmetic at the label dose of 20 units for glabellar lines, 24 units for lateral canthal lines, 40 units for forehead lines with glabellar lines. 44 units for simultaneous treatment of lateral canthal lines and glabellar lines, and 64 units for simultaneous treatment of lateral canthal lines, glabellar lines, and forehead lines have been reported. Patients or caregivers should be advised to seek immediate medical care if swallowing, speech, or respiratory disorders occur. Serious Adverse Reactions with Unapproved Use Serious adverse reactions, including excessive weakness, dysphagia, and aspiration pneumonia, with some adverse reactions associated with fatal outcomes, have been reported in patients who received Botox injections for unapproved uses. In these cases, the adverse reactions were not necessarily related to distant spread of toxin, but may have resulted from the administration of Botox to the site of injection and or adjacent structures. In several of the cases, patients had pre-existing dysphagia or other significant disabilities. There is insufficient information to identify factors associated with an increased risk for adverse reactions associated with the unapproved uses of Botox. The safety and effectiveness of Botox for unapproved uses have not been established. Hypersensitivity Reactions Serious and or immediate hypersensitivity reactions have been reported. These reactions include anaphylaxis, serum sickness, urticaria, soft tissue edema, and dyspnea. If such reactions occur, further injection of Botox cosmetic should be discontinued and appropriate medical therapy immediately instituted. One fatal case of anaphylaxis has been reported in which lidocaine was used as the diluent and consequently, the causal agent cannot be reliably determined. Cardiovascular system. There have been reports following administration of Botox of adverse events involving the cardiovascular system, including arrhythmia and myocardial infarction, some with fatal outcomes. Some of these patients had risk factors, including pre-existing cardiovascular disease. Use caution when administering to patients with pre-existing cardiovascular disease. Increased risk of clinically significant effects with pre-existing neuromuscular disorders. Individuals with peripheral motor neuropathic diseases, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or neuromuscular junction disorders, for example, myasthenia gravis or Lambert-Eaton syndrome, should be monitored when given botulinum toxin. Patients with neuromuscular disorders may be at increased risk of clinically significant effects, including generalized muscle weakness, diplopia, ptosis, dysphonia, dysarthria, 
severe dysphagia, and respiratory compromise from onobotulinum toxin A. See warnings and precautions. Dysphagia and breathing difficulties. Treatment with Botox and other botulinum toxin products can result in swallowing or breathing difficulties. Patients with pre-existing swallowing or breathing difficulties may be more susceptible to these complications. In most cases, this is a consequence of weakening of muscles in the area of injection that are involved in breathing or oropharyngeal muscles that control swallowing or breathing. See boxed warning. Pre-existing conditions at the injection site. Caution should be used when Botox cosmetic treatment is used in the presence of inflammation at the proposed injection sites or when excessive weakness or atrophy is present in the target muscles. Dry eye in patients treated with Botox Cosmetic. There have been reports of dry eye associated with Botox Cosmetic injection in or near the orbicularis oculi muscle. If symptoms of dry eye, for example, eye irritation, photophobia, or visual changes persist, consider referring patients to an ophthalmologist. Human albumin and transmission of viral diseases. This product contains albumin, a derivative of human blood. Based on effective donor screening and product manufacturing processes, it carries an extremely remote risk for transmission of viral diseases and variant Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, VCJD. There is a theoretical risk for transmission of Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, CJD, but if that risk actually exists, the risk of transmission would also be considered extremely remote. No cases of transmission of viral diseases, CJD or VCJD, have ever been identified for licensed albumin or albumin contained in other licensed products. Adverse reactions. The most frequent reported adverse reactions following injection of Botox cosmetic for glabellar lines were eyelid ptosis, 3%, facial pain, 1%, facial paresis, 1%, and muscular weakness, 1%. The most frequently reported adverse reaction following injection of Botox Cosmetic for lateral canthal lines was eyelid edema, 1%. The most frequently reported adverse reactions following injection of Botox Cosmetic for forehead lines with glabellar lines were headache, 9%, brow ptosis, 2%, and eyelid ptosis, 2%. Drug interactions. Co-administration of Botox cosmetic and aminoglycosides or other agents interfering with neuromuscular transmission, for example, curare-like compounds, should only be performed with caution as the effect of the toxin may be potentiated. Use of anticholinergic drugs after administration of Botox cosmetic may potentiate systemic anticholinergic effects. The effect of administering different botulinum neurotoxin products at the same time or within several months of each other is unknown. Excessive neuromuscular weakness may be exacerbated by administration of another botulinum toxin prior to the resolution of the effects of a previously administered botulinum toxin. Excessive weakness may also be exaggerated by administration of a muscle relaxant before or after administration of Botox Cosmetic. Use in specific populations. There are no studies or adequate data from post-marketing surveillance on the developmental risk associated with use of Botox Cosmetic in pregnant women. There are no data on the presence of Botox Cosmetic in human or animal milk, the effects on the breastfed child, or the effects on milk production. Please see Botox Cosmetic full prescribing information, including boxed warning and medication guide.